future generations, Mr. Speaker. I just think it's unacceptable. I hope that we will vote against the bill. Delegate from Richmond City, Delegate Adams. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, uh, speaking to the bill. Delegate has the floor. And I apologize for reading, but I wanted to be clear. Though I've spent more than 20 hours on this bill alone, I'll try to be brief. I've gone back and forth on how to vote to ensure best policy. There are parts of the bill I like, parts that are okay, and parts that I dislike. While no bill is perfect, it concerns me that this bill is skewed in one direction. My parents <coughs> were, were working class, middle, middle Americans. I'm sorry, you all know my father died recently. Um, they were, and my mom still is, a proud Republican. My dad was an officer <clears throat> who retired from the Coast Guard after th more than 30 years, and my mom was a part-time registered nurse and a full-time mom. We didn't grow up being given anything we didn't need. We worked for the things that we wanted, things that were extra. Yet my parents were able to build up their modest resources by saving and investing. They taught me that responsible money management is spending money, saving it, and investing it. This bill does not speak to saving money. It does not speak to investing it. It speaks to spending it, and I think on the whole, it's bad policy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Delegate from Fairfax.